Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Real Talks. I'm your host, David Steele. Um, I hope everybody is having a fantastic day wherever they are uh, watching this. Uh, and um, we've got a lot of stuff to get to. Uh, so something right off the top that um, that was actually, you know, it's been confirmed by a couple different, you know, people and podcasts and everything else. Tomorrow's the day, guys. It's been over a year. We are finally, finally going to be getting our, a brand new Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 trailer. Um, obviously, the internet's going to just break when this thing drops. Um, and we'll be covering it here on the channel. Um it's just astounding because, I mean, before I was going on, I was trying to think of a film that had a app between time frames of when the first and the second trailer dropped. I mean, usually you drop one like, you know, a year out, and then you have one that's maybe six months out right but never a year so the first official trailer for this film and mind you so we've got a lot of not a lot but there are a couple of mission impossible stories this is one of them um so the the first trailer dropped 11 months ago this is the official one from paramount and it got 15 million views now obviously it's been a year so there's and it's a two two minute trailer so i mean you're gonna get a lot of views a lot of repeat views but usually you drop it for you know big events um this is one of those things you can drop anytime and the internet will just break and i think that a couple of things actually came into play here um first and foremost i think that you know um Tom Cruise, as I said the other day, doing that story about Simon Pegg, um, he kind of figured something out, right? And that was with COVID, what ended up happening was that Top Gun Maverick was delayed for quite a long time. And he knew that he wasn't going to just drop this on streaming. And so it had legs and subsequently made over a billion dollars. One of the movies that really saved Hollywood and, you know, was incredible, just on so many different levels. Um, that all being said, this is, it's num so a couple of things about this. Number one, this is my most anticipated movie of the year. Hands down, bar none, I can't wait for July 14th, okay? Number two, I think that the fact is that because it has been a year, everybody is chomping the bit. Now, I had said back many, many months ago, back in March, that what would end up happening is, because they had several opportunities to drop this trailer many different times, okay? The first one was at the Super Bowl. But then you had a lot of other um, studios dropping their trailers, like Guardians of the Galaxy, The Flash, whatever it was, okay? So they didn't do it at the Super Bowl. Then it was the Oscars. I said, okay, if you're going to make a splash, spend the money, go do it during the Oscars. There was nothing during the Oscars. And subsequently, what ended up happening was, um, as a matter of fact, you know, Jeremy Fowser, who I'm friends with on Twitter, and um, actually, guys, if you want to go follow me on Twitter real quick, um, here is the Twitter handle, um, so you guys can go do that. I'm always on Twitter talking about movies. I'm in spaces talking about movies, all that good stuff. So go follow me there. Anyways, so Jeremy Fowler and I were actually having a conversation about the Oscars along with a bunch of other people in a space, and I said it was fascinating that they didn't drop one because, look, it is the biggest movie 
it is the last film in this franchise, or you know, part one of it. I said it's it's interesting. And the next day, the next day on that Monday, what ends up happening? We get our first official poster, okay, for the Mission Impossible film. That being said, um, it, that's the only publicity thing we've got. That's it. Nothing else. Now, we've gotten stills, okay? We've gotten a couple stills here and there, but no other major things. So I said, what they're going to do then is they're going to go to CinemaCon. And they're either going to show the whole thing or they're going to show quite a bit of it. And what did they end up doing? They ended up showing 20 minutes of footage, okay, which was a car chase and some other stuff that was not in the beginning of the film. And they showed that at CinemaCon. And they showed a brand new trailer. And the trailer we're getting tomorrow, I suspect, is what they were what they got at CinemaCon. Um so, and like I said, they could drop this. So we are only two months out. Everybody is chomping at the bit. And then when you have Christopher McQuarrie, you know, putting the the thing on his Instagram about, you know, the previews, you know, coming soon. And then, you know, a couple of tweets saying we're going to get one tomorrow. So tomorrow is going to be a huge, huge, huge day. And it's fascinating because we're only two months out from this movie. That's it. I mean, this isn't like it's, you know, it's the end of the year or, or no, we're only, you know, 54, 55 days out, you know, two months, 60 days out. So I can't wait uh, as millions of other people. And we are going to be covering it here on the channel, like I said, so, or I'm going to be covering it here on the channel, like I said, and I can't wait for this film. I'm going to go see this in IMAX and it's just going to be fantastic. And we will do a video about um, what we think is going on. Because this is the last major trailer we're going to get. And this is, you know, part one, of course, as it states, part one. We're going to see where they ended up. Because what ends up happening is um, it's going to be interesting. Because, and I've said this before in other in other videos, that it depends on where they leave this. Are they going to leave this in a spot like Infinity War, where it's that point of no return plot point, where we think the villain's going to win and everything else? Or do they do something like the Hunger Games, where it really wasn't done that well? I was in a space with um, actually a couple of people about a week ago, you know. And um, so I said, wouldn't it be great? And I, by the way, this is total speculation. But wouldn't it be great if they actually turned around and you want to talk about a little literal cliffhanger? That last shot you see when we see him jump off that cliff and then it cuts to black. I thought that would be awesome um but yeah I, I i can't wait for this and as i said we're going to cover it here on the trailer so or on the channel so don't worry about that and by the way guys don't forget i keep i keep reiterating this and don't forget about this we do have a mission impossible rewatch series we're doing uh this year leading up all the way to dead reckoning so i've we've already done two, i've already done two of them we're going to be doing the other four so this is actually part, this is the seventh one, so it will be interesting. Anyways, that is the major news, if you will, off the top. What do you guys think about this? Are you excited for Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1? Are you going to go see it in the theaters, or are you just going to wait until, you know, everything else? Are you doing a Mission Impossible rewatch series like myself? Leave me your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll get back to everybody.